Heat. All right, we got Chilltown versus Elder Rufus. I've been looking forward to this battle all day. Let me bring in Chilltown and Elder Rufus right now. Fellas, how we doing? Let's get it. Let's Chilling. do it. Let's do it. Chilling. Let's um, do it. So you guys, you guys prepared? You guys had a good uh, Thanksgiving last yesterday? Football and food. I went hunting. Beautiful. Beautiful. You went hunting yesterday to get yourself yeah. in the mind state for the, for this? Bro, I stay in this mind state. You don't see no notes on me. You no see my notes. Team behind me. I ain't hey, I know chill didn't bring no notes. So can't come to a battle rap with your raps in your hand. You either know it or you don't. Yes. Yeah, All yeah, right, yeah. Ron. Ron, I got it from here, bro. Appreciate hey, you. Af after this, it's going to be a dead body on player's choice. <laughs> a dead, dead body. Crazy. All right, y'all. Uh, For this battle, we actually have our first guest hosts. We have two guest hosts today. Chill, you're familiar with them. You've been on their podcast. We are bringing up Joel and River from Pick a Side Podcast. Joel River, thank you guys for joining, bro. Thank you guys for guest hosting. How y'all doing, man? I'm doing great. Had a great Thanksgiving. I'm looking forward to this debate. I know this first topic is very personal to all of y'all, so I'm really looking forward to this debate. Wakanda Fava. Yes, sir. Uh, Joel River, you guys, you guys know the deal. You guys know know what to do. So I'll just sit back and enjoy this. Okay, we got all right. it from here. And before before we get into this, uh. Shaq, are you gonna? Yeah, yeah, Shaq wants to come up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm right here. Um, what's good, uh, Joel and and Riv, my guy Riv. Yo, yo, yo. How, up, how, how you guys doing? Doing great. No, man. I just want. I see both of my unks is up here, man. I just wanted to issue a p apology publicly to you two, um, specifically Riv and Joel for coming at you guys the way that I did. It, it wasn't warranted. Um, it was just friendly ban banter for me, <laughs> and uh. You know, I had many nights where I was like, damn, I took an L on that one. So I'm, I'm here to actually gift you guys the L that I took, but at the same time to apologize to you guys because I don't want no beef, man. Hopefully we can work together and get you guys on the card in the upcoming future, and I'm going to let you guys do your thing. Yeah, most definitely. You know, I really respect you coming out and doing that, and we've been fans of Player's Choice for a long time, so, you know, glad we could, get, we could hash this out and be on this special event and just host these debates. I'm looking forward to this. Hey man, we good on my side. I ain't, I ain't tripping off nothing, man. Appreciate the apology, right. though. No, no, no. Tell your whole crew, um, the other Joe and uh, Andrew, it, it, it's all love. It's all love. So you <laughs> fellas do your thing. Appreciate and chill. It. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> Yo, the bias. El, El, Elder, you still my favorite. <laughs> PCX pick, pick a side coming soon, y'all. All right, hey Joel, take it from here, brother. Okay, so these are the rules for the debate. Each of you will have an opening round where you guys will give your opening arguments for one and a half minutes. Then we'll have a rebuttal round, one and a half minutes each, and then an open debate round, which is four minutes. Now, this is the first topic. Where is the proper ranking for Kobe Bryant? Chilltown, I'm going to start with you. Hey, OG, don't embarrass us, man. I'm rooting for you, man. Embarrass you? But why would I do that? Embarrass you guys. Come on, man. So. Throughout the 75-year history of the NBA, the best players to ever play in the game are big guys. That's not my opinion. That's a fact. Over 40 of the, of the 67 league MVPs that are handed out, almost 40 of them were given by, almost 40 of them were given to big guys. So the best players to ever play in the game were big guys. The best teams that the NBA has ever seen have been anchored by big guys, which would explain why my ranking, six of the top 10 guys that I have in my ranking are big guys. James, Jordan, Jabbar, Chamberlain, Russell, Magic, Bird, Duncan, Olajuwon, Diesel. Of these 10 guys, one of those guys, he has the most league, he has the most MVPs in league history. <clears throat> one of those guys, he also, one of those guys, he has the most championships in league in league history. He's also a big guy. So when you talk about the history of the game, when you talk about the big guy, he is the best player to ever play. Not a, not a most... Most of the people that I talk to when you talk about rankings, they have Kobe Bryant anywhere between 8 and 12. I have him at 11. And the reason why I have him at 11 is because all of the guys that I have in front of him have legit – I have legit logic on every last one of them why I have them, where I have them, and I can defend every last one of them. 
Okay, that was one minute and 15 seconds. Less than one minute and a half. So, Elder, the floor is yours. Ooh. All right, salute everybody. Um, not sure why we went on the big man rant. We're talking about where Kobe Bryant ranks all the time. <laughs> um, I know this new generation, one of the things they love to do is eliminate what's called the eye test. And the reason they like to do that is because most of them never actually saw some of these greats that we discussed. Most of the young generation here today, they saw Kobe at the end after he was hurt, after he was with bad teammates, all that kind of stuff. And that's the stuff that resonates in their mind. They didn't get to see a real true young Kobe. They didn't get to see a developing Kobe. And one thing they didn't get to see was Kobe get the advantages that all other superstars that have come to this league got, which is come in, we know that you're talented, give you a team and develop a team around you for your entire career. That's what the superstars got. Kobe was one of the only ones that did not get that, right? He was one of the only ones that didn't. He came in with bad coaching. He came in under a bad teammate that didn't understand his greatness in Shaq. I'm talking about Shaq. That's right. He came in under uh, bad constructed teams, and he had stints in there where ownership was bad and just literally took advantage of the man's talent. I have Kobe as a top five player of all time. And my personal opinion, from what I've seen with my eyes, and that goes back to the 70s all the way up to now, Kobe Bryant is the second best player I've ever watched play the game. Second best, wow. This is going to get interesting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> second best, wow. Wow, second best. So, so God got it is, I'm gonna say, I got time. Right? I got time left. I'm sure. Yeah, you do. So it's – who's on. the first? Hold on. MJ, and I'm sure that's his best player of all time. It should be. He no, probably got, not. He probably got no, LeBron not. because he wants yes, to deal to the younger crowd. No, I do not. No, I do not. The younger crowd. I but the consensus of people that watch basketball believes that MJ is the GOAT. Correct. We're not they talking do. about a big man. We're talking about a wing. Correct. I don't even put LeBron James in that because he's considered a wing. He's not, a, he's not a power forward. Correct. So he wouldn't be considered a big man. He's Correct. 16. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Right. So the best players in the game mm -hmm. have not been big men. Yes, they have. Even in his even in his own statement. LeBron James is the best player that's ever played. That one of the man. best. One of the best. One of the best. Who's one of the one of one of the best? Who's two? Jordan. Who's two? Jordan is the best. Jordan. The two is the best. best guys in the game yep. are not big men. Right, so but but but, six, but no, I did not because six yes, of it. Six right, of the, oh, it's supposed, oh, supposed to be my time. Supposed to be my sorry, time. I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay, go ahead. So, 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 as we said, can you defend Kobe Bryant being a top two player all time? I'm gonna do it. I'm I listening. I got on here and said it. Go ahead. So, can you defend him being a top two player all time? I'm listening. I'm about to do it. I'm gonna have to. Right here we go. If I said it, I'm gonna have to do it. So, chill, chill time. Let's just hear your reasoning as to why Kobe is not a top two player of all time. Hold on, if we, hold on time out, time out. If we're going that route, hold on, my brother. If we're going to go that route, that means I get to defend why he's not number 11, correct? Okay. Because Chill said he's 11. That's what I got. I don't have to defend that he's second. Mm -hmm. I need to defend why he's not 11 right. to make it even. Is that correct? No, that's not correct. Because why you have not? A, because you, you have defending, because why are you, you defending that he's second. You I said I, he's second. I don't have to defend that he's second. No, I do not. No, I no, asked you. I asked, no, 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 what I have to defend, what I have to defend is why I have my guys in the top 10 and why he's out of the top 10. I don't have to defend why he's number two. That's your job. So I'm all in. Listen, I'm all in, brother. I'm all in, brother. I'm going by what that brother said to you. So one of the players that OG has over Kobe is Shaq. Why do you think Kobe is over Shaq all time? That's you, chill time. I, why do I think I Kobe don't have Shaq over Kobe? I, I, don't, I, don't have, I want to hit a whole 10. I'm going to be honest. I, I don't have Kobe over Shaq. I do not. He said got, Shaq over Kobe, my brother. Listen, he said I did. Shaq. It sounded like he said Kobe over Shaq. No, he said Shaq over Kobe. Why well, do you have that? Well, when I had when Shaq showed up in the league, Shaq was that guy from the door. Not only was he that guy from the door, but. he was that guy from the door who basically completely changed the game. If we, if we had a guy that was running around in the NBA today, who was breaking stanchions and tearing down backboards. I mean, we're talking about 
the NBA being completely different. He back, he basically brought back the big man who was dominant. Not only did he bring back the big man who was dominant, they built that Laker unit around him. And not only did they build that Laker unit around him, when Kobe Bryant got there, he was the best player on that unit. And he was the best player on that unit on all their championship teams. Not only was he the best player on all their championship teams, he was the most dominant player in the game for a long period of time. And when him and Kobe Bryant broke up, he still was a dominant player. Was he what he was with the Lakers? No, he wasn't. But he still was awesome when he left Kobe Bryant. So we have a guy who won the NBA championship and won the, and won the finals MVP three straight years. There's nobody in my generation, with the exception of Michael Jordan, who could say that they did that. Nobody, except the big man, which is which is Shaquille O'Neal. That's one of the main reasons why I have him as I have him ahead of Kobe Bryant. Mm. Mm. My turn. Yeah. The reason why I would never have Shaq above Kobe Bryant because I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go off all the stuff Chill just said. First off, Shaq was not no anomaly. We've seen Shaq before. His name is called Daryl Dawkins. His name is called uh, uh, Wilt Chamberlain. No. We've seen these guys that are broken rims. And oh. did they not change? The, hold on, did they not change the rule for guys that they couldn't dunk for a while before Shaq came because they were so dominant? Didn't they take the dunk out the game? So don't tell me Shaq was was some new thing on it. He was just bigger oh. and stronger than the guys in the league he played against. Am I am I diminishing that he was a great player? That's no, what it like. but he wasn't Kobe. That's what he wasn't like. he wasn't new, and he wasn't Kobe. And the thing with Shaq is this: Shaq, uh, there were greater centers on the western side, the big men, the best big men in the game back in Shaq years was on the west. So when he went through the playoffs, you go look at them numbers. Kobe carried them through them playoffs. <laughs> then when he would get to the Eastern yeah, Conference and play, you go name me the centers that he went up against in the finals. Give me the names of the guys. Hold on. Give me the names of the guys that he went against in the finals. That makes it easy for you to get finals MVP for three wow. years in a row. It makes when you it got easier. young buck doing all the heavy lifting in the playoffs mm -hmm. against the better teams, wow. then you get to the finals mm -hmm. and you don't have to play against nobody. Wow. You playing against nobody. Mm -hmm. That's, That's why you can get that three years in a row. Now, here's one of the biggest things about Shaq that I really dislike mm -hmm. about Shaq, and it's going to kill his legacy. He couldn't recognize that Kobe Bryant was the one of the greatest players to ever play the game. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't relinquish the leadership role to Kobe when it was clearly Kobe's time. Mm -hmm. But when they traded his tail from the Lakers, which was the smartest move they ever did, sent it to Miami, what's the first thing Shaq said when he got off that plane? What did he say? This is D-Wade's team. That's actually, what he said. I actually he, said, I'm going to bring a championship to Miami. That's, that's what he said. He said, I'm going to bring a championship to Miami. Miami. That's talking. what he said. Mute, mute your mic, brother. Hey, at the end of the day, <laughs> you telling me that D Wade at that time was a better player than Kobe? They but really Shaq gonna give accolades to D Wade and not to Kobe. How's you gonna go and submit to a lesser player in D Wade, but not submit to Kobe? It's an arrogant, pompous move that destroyed history. That team would have been the greatest team of all time mm -hmm. if Shaq wasn't pompous and he wasn't arrogant. Because it are you going to tell me at that time when Shaq got traded that that D Wade was a better player than Kobe? No, he wasn't. No, I will, I will not. So however, was, however, yeah, I however, I just wanted to answer. I got it. Why would he submit to D Wade and not to Kobe then? Keep because that he was, going be, because he's he was pompous and he's pompous. Because he would. No, I'm not going to go that far. So let's get back. So so let's get back to the finals logic. So when we talking about him, I so guess we're going to get him free for all I see. Huh? Let's roll. Yeah. Let's 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 get back to the him having to, him having to deal with nobody in the finals logic, and you completely leaving out the idea of who he had to go through to get to the NBA finals. Which, let's let's get let's get, do it. Yes, uh, I know. Yeah, we I'm, I'm I'm glad you mentioned that. I'm glad you mentioned that. Kobe I'm, carried. Him. I'm glad I'm glad you mentioned that Kobe carried him in the Western Conference Finals, where he averaged over 30 a game in that, against the San Antonio Spurs when they mopped the floor with them in four games they and then smoked them. I ain't done. I ain't done. How does the Brown, conversation work, series, sir? Bro. You talk, I listen. I talk, you listen. It's that you. simple. Now, I as I was I saying, you. as I was saying, so we'll I'll, start. I'll so we'll start. So I we'll start you. in two. So we'll start in two thousand when he had to deal with when he had to deal with Chris Webber, who who was a league MVP, who was a league MVP finalist, and we and we'll move over to Tim Duncan in two thousand one when he had to deal with him and David Robinson when he had to deal with him. So he had to deal with these guys on on a regular basis in the Western Conference. That's not even mentioning guys like Olajuwon. Who he had to deal with in '98 and swept them out the playoffs, right? So the idea of Kobe Bryant carrying him, no way you're carrying him when these guys aren't getting there without the big fella. And not only is not only are they getting there without the big fella, he's dominating in the finals in dramatic fashion, where he's averaging 34 and 36 a game. 
and he's basically the anchor on what they do. Now, as good as Kobe Bryant was, and I'm not taking away from how good Kobe Bryant was, which is why I have him at 11, and I don't have him at 15 or 19, which is why I have him right outside the top 10. Because during that time, it wasn't a question that Shaquille O'Neal was the best player on that team, considering what he had done in the postseason and in the finals. Mm. So what I want to say to that, OG, is that um, one of Elder's points was that Shaq was arrogant for not handing the team to Kobe since, you know, he was a better player than D Wade at the time. But do you want to rebuttal that with also mentioning that Kobe at that time was a bit immature? I was, well, I, I was going to get to that. Sure. I was going to get to that. Well, not only oh, that. Time uh, out, time out, time out. What the hell we got going on here? What the hell we got going on? I got to step in. I got to step in. I don't know you. Right? You up there, uh, Mr. Curly Hair, light skin brother. I don't know you. That ain't your role. That ain't the moderator's role to give suggestions and ideas. Do your job, bro. You hear me? Elder, elder, elder. I understand y'all. Hold on. Let me finish. I understand y'all like chill because he thinks like you young guys think. Chill was one of these guys that way back in the day. When everybody used to cheer for teams, he was still already on individual guys. No, I, I was not. No, I was not. No, I was not. I went on mute. I went on mute. I went on mute. I went on mute. He did I watched you the other day on your show. Admit that. That you went from players to players. Oh, I started liking this guy. Oh, I started liking this guy. I started liking this guy. I don't have a team. I like this dude. I like this dude. You admitted that on your channel. That's what new guys do today. Watch how many guys leave watching basketball when LeBron leaves. They don't have nobody else to go to. How many can, I, can, can I rebut that? No, 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 can no, I rebut that? Who we have now because mm -hmm. people love Kawhi. Got, we've got they don't care about the Clippers. They care oh, about Kawhi. Yeah. Correct. See the year that we came from, Chill. Correct. I'll remind you, sir. Correct. You were loyalists. Correct. You were loyal to a team. Correct. That's I correct. Had a, hold on, hold on. I had a favorite player growing up. Guess mm -hmm. who it was? Magic Johnson. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm a Laker fan. Correct. Because when he came out of state, mm -hmm. he went to L.A. And correct. guess what, though? Mm -hmm. When he got the age, when he left basketball, all that. I stayed with the Lakers. Correct. I stayed with the Lakers. Yes, you did. I didn't go find another favorite player to go to. Correct. That's what new age do. Now, young fella, I'm back on you. Do your job, bro. Do your job. Right, right, we'll get. Hold on. Now, 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 hold on. Now, 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 now here's the thing. Hold on. on. We have to what you do, Elder? What you not doing is you're not going to dominate this conversation. No, I am. No, you're not. So what he did was. He but left out the he left out the part when he talked about the other day, story. right? He left you out he, he left out the part of the me. conversation Do earlier job, my when, he saw, when he saw the, when, he, when he saw me he, when he saw me he left out the part of the conversation when I was a kid I was a Philadelphia 76er fan because uh -huh. I grew up watching Doc and for a long time I was a Dr J fan. Not only was I a Dr J fan I was a Philadelphia 76er fan with that. Moses Malone you with Moses Malone, that. right? So yeah, I was in Philadelphia. Hey, I'm not done. I, I'm not done. As I was saying, <laughs> as, I was, as I was saying, I Philadelphia, hey, 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 I'm not emotional either. I'm not you emotional either. So again, so again, so, so again, I became a Philadelphia 76ers fan when I was a kid because I lived not that far from Philadelphia. Big time, big time Doc fan, right? So I watched them for, and then they got Barkley and I watched them for the rest of the decade. I was a Jordan fan. I was a Dominique Wilkins fan, but I was a Philadelphia 76ers fan until they ended not? up, but what until they not? ended up, I'm not done. Don't interrupt me again. I'm not interrupting you. Don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me again, sir. You've been interrupting me all day. Once again, no, I didn't. You told me. I listen. I talk. You listen. Right? I talk. You listen. All right, yo, yo, yo. I gotta mute you guys. I gotta mute you guys because we have to get this going because we're we're behind schedule. You gotta get Dellen Ron in here in about 20 minutes. So we're moving on to round two. Ron, please run the poll for round one. We got a little excited for that because y'all were cooking. I we wanted it. to listen. That was great. So we're going to stick to the format for rounds two and three. We're going to go a minute and a half for the opening argument, rebuttal round. You guys get three minutes and open debate round afterwards. Yo, this is it. I love it. I love the energy. This, this is what I love to see. Bro, everyone's loving it. No, chat is tapped in. This is heat, y'all. This is amazing. This is, a this great is why way you guys are tapping in to the Black Friday event, man. This is why y'all are here. Whew. Now, All right. second round is what is the greatest NBA team of all time? Elder, you can start first. Okay. Yes, um, I like that Laker team that I uh, then 2020, uh, 2000, 2001. That's the team I like the most, right? I like the balance that that team had. I like the run they went on in the playoffs. It was, a, it's, it was the most dominant 
playoffs that I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. They went 16 and one. Nobody really was even close. But Philly got really a lucky game out of Iverson to get one. If not, they would have done something that never happened before ever in NBA, which is sweep everybody in the playoffs. See, most young people won't appreciate that. Here, why? They didn't see it. They don't have no idea how dominant Kobe and Shaq were and the rest of the guys that was with them. That team had so much balance all the way around. And they, you know how we got the teams today where they say it's, it's positionless basketball? Go back and look at that roster. They had two guys that were like six foot, right? You had Derek Fisher, uh, Tyron Luke. Everybody else was six, six and up, y'all. Everybody else on the team. So they were just a team full of wings and big men, and they just destroyed folk. And whenever they got focused, they would lock you down. Whenever they got focused, they would lock you down. And in that playoffs, they went into a zone that I've never seen before. You talk so about I say, hold on. When I say best team, I would put that team up against what most people think is the best team, which is probably the Bulls when they won 73. And then time. Chill. Your opening argument. Well, what he what he mentioned about the 2000, 2001 Lakers is absolutely valid. When I look at that unit, when I think about what they did, they were basically a half a mile freight train with no brakes. Nobody was nobody was seeing them. But the difference is, is that when I look at that 1995, 96 team, Chicago Bulls, when they won 72 games, that team was awesome from wire to wire. There was a stretch during the 2000, 2001 season where the Lakers were barely over 500. They were three or four games over 500 because of the nonsense between Kobe Bryant and Shaq. And these guys were tugging at each other. We had an all-star break where the Chicago Bulls had lost five games. That's it. They were rolling. Not only were they rolling, by the end of the season, we thought that I thought they were going to win 75 games. And they basically walked to the NBA Finals. I mean, they smoked Washington in round one. Not only did they smoke Washington in round one, they lost one game to the Knicks. And then they smoked Orlando, a team that beat them the next year. And they should have swept Seattle. Right. They should have swept Seattle, but they didn't. But they still handled them. We're talking about a team that not only had a top five player, not only did they have the best player in Michael Jordan, they had the best all around player in the game in Scottie Pippen. They had the best rebounder in the game in Dennis Rodman. They had the best bench player in Tony Kukoc. They had the second best long ball shooter in in Steve Kerr. So with all of that being said, you put those things together, you get 72 wins. Now, when I think about what the Bulls did. Overall, they also had three guys, count them, Scottie Pippen, Michael Jordan, and Dennis Rodman, to be first-team all-league defenders. That has never happened in the history of the NBA, and it hasn't happened since. Time. Rebuttal, Elder Rufus. All right. So um, when you go look, it's, it's kind of a consensus that the eras that they played in, that era of the 2000s was a tougher era. Now, when you go look, the thing that I don't like about the Bulls in that era the Eastern Conference that people watched basketball and knew back then was a very weak conference. It really was. It was a very weak conference. And Chicago could blow through that. If you go look at what Chicago's strength of schedule was back then, a bunch of y'all going to be surprised. Mm -hmm. Their strength of schedule was 29th in the league. Mm -hmm. 29th. Mm -hmm. They played nobody. So, yes, they can go on these long winning streaks when you're playing a bunch of Eastern Conference teams that aren't good. Now, mm -hmm. let's get to the Orlando. What year was Shaq? Third year. What year was Penny? Second year. Mm -hmm. They played a young Orlando team. Mm -hmm. And the Bulls didn't have anybody under 27 years old. Correct. It was a totally latent, uh, a veteran team. Mm -hmm. They should blow them out. Absolutely. And when they did play a good veteran team, mm -hmm. they ran into bad coaching. Because mm -hmm. in my personal opinion, when you look at your matchups, you should have easily had Gary Payton, who was considered the glove, guard Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. You go down all these games, then you decide, well, let me go ahead and put Gary Payton on. Mm -hmm. And Jordan had his two worst games of the playoffs with Gary Payton guarding him. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the series would have been way more competitive if they would have done that. Like the Bulls, Phil Jackson was smart when they played the Lakers and put Scottie Pippen on Magic Johnson. Mm -hmm. Bad coaching, that's all. But they still got two games out of them in the finals. Mm -hmm. they Time. Chill rebuttal round. Well, the first part, well, the first part with that is this isn't college football. This is the NBA where you play everybody. And not only do you play everybody, you play everybody more than once, more than twice. So that's the way that works. Number two, that Bulls team that Jordan and Pippen was on, they the only two dudes on that unit that was on the first three-peat team. That unit was completely rebuilt. And you bring those dudes back, Michael Jordan was a different player. Scottie Pippen, who now at that point in 1996 was much better than Scottie Pippen in 1993. He was a top five player at that point, right? He was arguably a top five player at that point. And when you put two guys on a unit that are top five players, you're definitely going to get 
positive results. So that Bulls team, when they played against Washington with Chris Webber and Rod Strickland, they rolled through them. When they played against that New York Knicks team that was vet laid with Ewing and Anthony Mason and Oakley and John Stocks and Allen Houston, smoked them dudes in five games. And then when they run up on that Orlando Magic team, who even though you're telling me that they were a young team, please don't leave out the fact that the year before that they were in the NBA Finals and they won 60 games. No, so we're not going to use that logic. That logic is not going to work. What we are going to use, we're going to use the fact that they ran up on a better team. The idea that the Eastern Conference was weak, I'm not going to go that far. What I am going to say is that the Chicago Bulls were just better than everybody else. You know the reason why they was on that went to the championship. That hey, floor is yours for three had. minutes. <coughs> Cook. What we got? I'm sorry. What's three up? Three minutes. Cook. Open debate between you two. Oh, go 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 I'll start right there then. Real quick, can I give you a chance to go? Say, say, no, say what you said. I, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I didn't, the, I didn't the, hear what you said the first reason time. reason why they were in the championship the year before, yep. remember that's when Jordan that took two years off, came back yep. halfway through the year. Mm -hmm. They were already rolling. Jordan mm -hmm. wasn't in the, in the Jordan mold. Right. That's the only reason they made it to the finals. And when they got mm -hmm. there, what happened to Shaq? Kim Olajuwon destroyed that young boy. Mm -hmm. I mean, showed him what basketball was all about. Mm -hmm. So they were still a young team. They were a good, talented young team. But they weren't nowhere on the level of the top teams back then, which had a bunch of uh, of veteran guys. I'll give right. you the floor a little bit, and we ain't gonna have to yell over each other. No, we not. No, we 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 grown. We grown. Yeah. So again, when I when when I think about that Orlando Magic team, yeah, they were young. Now the fact that Jordan was out, the, the fact that Jordan was out the league, I don't think that that really, I don't think that that really has much to do with it because that Orlando Magic team was getting better. I mean, in the 94 season, Shaq led the league in scoring that year. So it wasn't like it was a situation where he was, even though he was young, he was still figuring it out. He still was dominant, led the league in scoring. And in addition to him leading the league in scoring, Penny Hardaway was becoming who he was becoming. Dennis Scott was one of the best long ball shooters in the game. And at that point in 94, he was up in, in 95, or 96, I'm sorry, when they saw him, he was a six year vet, just like Nick Anderson was a six, six, six year vet. Now, I know for a fact that there aren't teams that can win the NBA championship with kids at the helm. I know that for a fact. We have never seen that, right? We have never we've, we've never seen that we've never seen an NBA team win with kids at the helm. However, however, we have seen teams get there and we've seen why they can't win with kids at the helm. And the Chicago Bulls showed them that because how how much better Scottie Pippen was in terms of his ability to defend, his ability to play make, how much better, how much more polished Jordan was. I think that I don't, I'm not sure that they were more talented than that Orlando Magic team, more than they were just smarter than them. And I think that they outsmarted them in addition to them being talented, which would explain why they dominated them. I'm not going to take away from what the Orlando Magic did because they still were awesome. And I'm not going to take away the fact that they got there because Jordan was out the league because I don't, I, because they ended up beating them. And if the, if the Bulls would have beaten Orlando, we would have been praising Jordan. But the fact that they didn't, I'm not going to use that neither. All right. I just go with what is facts. And Jordan did not play that whole whole year. He only played a certain amount of games. Then he went into the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? But when he had a chance to do what players do and play the whole season, it wasn't even close. That team was superior over the Orlando team. And it should be. Orlando was like one of the youngest, most promising, talented teams. What did they win, though? They didn't win nothing. No, they didn't. They still didn't win nothing. No, they so didn't. Really matter. I don't care about potential. I care about results. And see, that team got the results. But again, we still uh, not looking at the fact of how weak the East was. You can't deny the fact that the East was considered an extremely weak conference. The West was superior to the East. And they ran through the East with the weakest schedule in the NBA next to one other team. They were the 29th team in strength of schedule. It should be a little easier when you're already a three-time champ to win that many games. I got respect for the Bulls for one reason that year and one reason only. They closed the deal. They closed the deal. You can't go out and do all of that and not win. So I got respect for them. But if I take that Laker 20, 20, 2000, 2001 team mm -hmm. and I play it against that Bulls team, I'm taking that Laker team. I'm putting my money on that team. When you look at it from top to bottom, mm -hmm. the Lakers had it all. Right. They had you. They had athleticism. Mm -hmm. They had veterans. They had everything. And then mm -hmm. again, you got the same guy coaching against himself. So coach, right. watch out. Right. Time. Woo! Round two. Wow. Ron, Woo. run the yeah, poll, was... please. Who won round two? Yo. Round two was a great round. You guys both made some great points. I don't. I, that's going to be a very close one. <sighs> On to round three. Michael Jordan versus LeBron James. OG, I'm going to start with you. Oh, shit. <laughs> we, we both OGs. Yeah. 
Chill Town, I'm gonna start with you. Well, I I, I don't have anything new with James. I, I just hate this he's, man. he's the best that I've ever seen. I've never seen a guy come into the game with as much fanfare, as much hype, and as much pressure and deliver the way he's done it. They built that unit terribly around him for all of those years, and in the process of them building that unit around him for all of those years, he still continued to deliver. I think that they had an aha moment where they had an opportunity to get much better after the 06 07 season when they went to the NBA finals that was the same that was the same moment that sh- that the Chicago Bulls had in 1986 where Jerry Krause recognized that aha I got my franchise player let me go get this dude some ballers so cuz I think we might have an opportunity to win this well the same thing happened in 2007 where Cleveland had an opportunity because they had their aha moment we're in the NBA finals only except we're not going to do that they're under the impression that we're just going to get there every year and we're going to get there every year with this guy, regardless of who, he, regardless of who he has around him. And it just wasn't working that way, even though he was still taking them and throwing them on his back and taking them as far as he could. I mean, in the Eastern Conference Championship in 2009 against the Orlando Magic, he went 38, 10 and, and, and 9, I think. And they still ended up losing to Dwight Howard, who had a much better team. And the fact that James, once he got on a better team and learned how to win, there hasn't been a guy in my lifetime that I could say was the best player undisputed for a decade in my lifetime. I was, I I caught Jabal on the other side of his career. Jordan ended up retiring and he ended up being out of the game, but for an entire day time. Oh, he was cooking. He was, was he was, he was about to go crazy. You got a minute 30, bro. Yep. Elder, the floor is yours. Jordan definitely did that for easily an entire decade. The end of the 80s all the way up to 98 when he left. He was the best player in the game. I mean, this is really simple. (laughs) Great players get to a certain level of talent. Something has to separate them. This is called a game. This is a team sport. So being a leader counts for that. You have to get these guys to rise up. No matter how you get it done, get them to rise up their level and get the job done. Mm -hmm. And every single time Jordan got on that stage, he not only won, he performed at the highest level. He has no duds in any finals. Show me the final where he had a dud, all right? Show me the final series where Jordan had a dud, where people can question, oh, you should have this, you should have that. Show me the finals where Jordan put this dream team together mm-hmm. and then came in and averaged 11 points. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can't do that. Mm-hmm. And Jordan played in an era where you were allowed to play defense. That's See, right. you know, Chill, when mm-hmm. we played, you had to back because you couldn't face guys up because the defense could be just as aggressive as the offense. Correct. Now the mm-hmm. defense can't be aggressive. Correct. So you can face guys up. Imagine what we could have done if I could just face guys up and I didn't have to turn around to see the court from half mm-hmm. my body and I could see the whole thing. Mm-hmm. This era is designed for numbers and flash. Mm-hmm. Jordan didn't play in that era. And in that era, he made guys submit. Mm-hmm. Those were good players. Go look at the 90s and see how many of those guys made the Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. The most era ever made the Hall of Fame from that era. And people want to diminish. Jordan didn't play nobody. He played a bunch of Hall of Famers. Time. Well, 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 it's it's interesting you mentioned the finals. It's interesting Uh, you mentioned the finals. And the reason why you mentioned the finals is because you, just like everybody else who is Jordan fans, are under the impression that Michael Jordan's career started in 1991. (laughs) And it did not. Michael Jordan was in the league for seven years prior to that. So since we're on the subject of finals, Michael Jordan was in the Eastern Conference Finals in 1989. And he started the series, the first three games, he was averaging 30 a game. Now, the Detroit Pistons, they put the clamp on them. That 30 went down to 22, and they end up losing the series. So Jordan has had some duds, right? So let's fast forward to the 1993 Eastern Conference Championship, where Michael Jordan has started the series shooting 25% against the Knicks, and they're down in the series. Not only are they down in the series, Game 3, when they come back home, in Game 3 in the Eastern Conference Championship, it took a 29-12 and effort from Scottie Pippen in order for them to get back in the series. Otherwise, they down 3-0 because Jordan goes 3 for 18, and he gives them nothing that night. So Mike has had some duds. Let's not make it sound like Jordan has just been rolling the entire time because, no, he has not. I've seen him go 9 for 35 against the Miami Heat in 1997 in the Eastern Conference Championship. Michael Jordan has had some duds. I've seen him go 4 for 18 against the Miami Heat. I've seen that happen. So it's not like it's a situation where Michael Jordan's career started in 1991 and this is all we're going to judge him on. No, we have to judge him on the same thing that we judge everybody else on in totality. Cook. Now, Minute 30 on let, you, Elder let, Rufus. Now, let me get back to the real brass task. Y'all got deflected <laughs> on that. <laughs> I never said that he had, hadn't had dubs in his career. I said when he got to the highest level, which is the NBA Finals, he's never had a dub. 
He's always performed on the highest level. That's why he has six MVPs. And it ain't even been close. Name me the one MVP that was questionable, that someone else could have won it. See, like when LeBron won with the Lakers, what was a lot of people saying? Well, Anthony Davis kind of deserved that. He led him through the playoffs and LeBron, da, da, da. No debate with MJ, bro. No debate. It's clear that MJ is the most talented guy that's ever played this game. Now, LeBron may be the best all-around player, just like he's got to more finals, but we don't pass our participation awards in the NBA, bro. No, we do not. No, no babies not. allowed as well as a call no. when I play. No, we do so not. So when you get there, you need mm-hmm. to produce. And a mm-hmm. guy that's gotten there a lot but yep. hasn't produced, Jerry West got there nine times. Yep. Am I going to give him the participation award? He only won once. One that's time. why he's not mentioned with the greats like that. Right. But when Jordan got there, and it's six times, mm-hmm. six times, he performed, and he performed at the highest level right. every single time. Correct. Man, it ain't even close, bro. I watched Jordan up close. I watched mm-hmm. LeBron in high school. I watched that book come to the league. It ain't even close. Bron's great. He ain't J. He oh. ain't MJ. Time. Open debate. You guys got three minutes. Uh, uh. Since Elder just went, chill, you start, and then whatever happens, happens. Well, uh. again, again, we were just talking about Jordan going 6-0 in the NBA Finals. Right. I can appreciate that. So – with that also, be, with, with, I, I will not diminish the fact that he went six and I will not diminish that he, that he went six and on the NBA finals. What I do have to mention though is that he did have that unit built around him. He had Scottie Pippen for five years before they won the NBA champ, four years before they won the NBA championship. He had John Paxson for, for eight years before before he won the hey, NBA hey, championship. Hold on, tell me, tell me, tell me, don't, don't mute, don't mute him. Go ahead. Are we supposed to be? Am I supposed to like give him three minutes and I go three, or is it just no? We just talking. You and me. You, you, you and me talking. Okay, you, that you last statement talking. you just made. Say it again. Go ahead. Wherever you at. Go ahead. My bad. I'm sorry. I got tripped up. Anyway, like I was saying, so uh, like I was saying, so when we talk about the way that that unit was built around Jordan, and not only was yes, that built, was not, yeah. not, not only was that unit built Kobe around, got that. not only was that Kobe unit, that. well, Kobe couldn't get that. And the reason why Kobe, Kobe no, he, he couldn't, couldn't got that. Well, if he you look at the unit, if you look at the unit that Kobe Bryant was on in, in, that, in hey, with, with still, the Lakers, still, all superstars get that though. Besides Kobe Bryant. All superstars come to the league. Well, we don't know who Kobe around. Bryant is. That's what happened. We, we, Kobe like, here's the thing, though. We didn't know who Kobe, Kobe Bryant was. This is a high school kid who was the number 13 pick in the draft. Not hey, only that. Jerry not West only, knew who he was. Jerry West gave up an all-star center for him. He knew and, who he was. And Je- not only did Jerry, Jerry West, West give up. Jerry West knew who he was. And, and you know what Jerry hey, West also Dale did? Harris dumbass didn't, though. Dale Harris dumbass didn't. You know That's who the bad coaching. You know who and else? Then, you know who else knew who he was? You know who else? Dr. Buss, he used Kobe Bryant at the shack left. Oh, right. I'm just gonna put some some damn not even G leaguers. Right. Guys that see, it's different. Like now with LeBron, remember those guys he just played with? They ain't in the league no more. But all those guys was old. A reason all them they 35 plus. Right. These guys Kobe had, they was in their 20s. Right. And when they didn't make the Lakers team, they never played in the league again. Well, they put even, bums out there with Kobe Bryant, and no. he still dragged him to the to the playoffs. It, and with that being oh, said, oh, Elder, oh. even with that being said, Elder, he was he was basically put in a great situation. How was he put in Ooh. a great situation? Ooh. Kobe Bryant was put in a great situation. Stop yes, he Stop was. It. When he got when he gets put he on that spent Lakers, three he, years playing behind bums. I got I got to put the recording on. Even Eddie, can, can, Eddie can we, can Jones, can we get to, name, uh, the guy that was starting the two guards for the Lakers? That Eddie year, Jones. Uh, Eddie Jones. And he Jones said himself, man, this boy bad. This boy he bad. is bad. Ain't nobody saying he that he's not, it. Elder. And they still had him start behind. Nobody That's saying that he's not. Coaching. No, it's not, Elder. That's because Kobe coaching. Bryant said it himself that people were saying to him, well, this is what you need to – yo, you nice, my man. You nice. And Kobe Bryant said it himself. I'm not Kobe that good. I'm he not that in, good, and I need to get him. better. Well, he gets on that Laker unit, better than you, which is and better in lane. And that's why those coaches – Bucked against him. It wasn't chill. You know this. It wasn't like that back then. Young players don't get on the court back then. You know that. No matter how talented they are, that's what bad Kevin Garnett, Kevin, Kevin Garnett, Kevin Garnett started. In, Kevin that. Garnett started in Minnesota, and they built that unit around him. Oh, so, so, God. so the logic of young players not getting on the court that's not true. They, that unit was that, 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 that unit was built He's around him. Guy. Okay, Stephon Marbury, he was a young guy, and they built that unit around him also. I can no, continue, no, I no. can keep going with, with no. I can keep going with young guys. Allen Iverson was, was, was a young guy, and they built that unit around him. You right? put so, players around Kobe Bryant when that, when, 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 when that, hey, Kobe not at 18 years world. old. No, I and I think that he, me, I'm gonna and, show you in the fact in the fact that one decent player, one decent guy. 
Well, Who how we going to – Here's the thing he about – mentioning the, big, the greatest big man of all time. And, and why isn't that? And why, why isn't that? Everybody. Why isn't that? Bro. Because he wasn't – because Pau Gasol was not a decent player. Let's make sure we remember who Pau Gasol was. What was he? Pau Gasol was elite, and you can make an argument that he was a Once top he got player. With Kobe. Even if he, he but Once before he, got he with, before oh, he got chill, before chill, he chill, got chill, with Kobe, chill, hold on. Was he before he got minutes, with hold on, chill. Was was Paul Gasol elite in Memphis? Yes, he was taking him to the playoffs. He was playing. He was cap. playing in Memphis, stop and he was taking him to the playoffs. And after Kobe Memphis. Bryant left, he was kill a him. all. He was a. Uh, he was a bear. Yo. <laughs> At the round three, Ooh. I let you guys go even longer because I wanted <laughs> wow. to keep listening. I could have listened to this for another hour. Yo, next time we do this, we're going to have to have the rematch Chill vs. Elder for maybe two hours. Sincerely. You guys might have to be the six-round matchup. That's straight Ooh. cap, Chill. You know he was no, it's not. Hey. Hey, hold, 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 hold on for a second. I know you got to get other people in here. Why are you leaving? Why, why are you leaving? Why are you leaving, out, why, why, are you leaving? <laughs> why are you leaving out the fact? Why are you leaving out the fact that number one, he was an All NBA performer? Why are you leaving out the that fact don't that? Make him that elite? Uh, that's exactly that what it makes make him. him you know what? You know why it doesn't make elite him elite? It doesn't make him elite. I'm not done. It doesn't make him elite. It doesn't make him elite if he only did it one time. He was a five time All League All League player. Not only not only was he five time. All NBA performer. Cool, and that's that boy face said, you this dude get wasn't. You this here. dude wasn't the FIBA player of the year once. Elite. He was the FIBA player of the year in back to back seasons. That's the best international player on the planet. This is <laughs> Kobe Bryant. Had. What are we talking oh, about no, here? Hey. I'm talking about Kobe Bryant like he was Great running man. around with a bunch of bums. Okay, he was question, running around question, Lamar question, Odom, who was question, who was arguably question, the best bench uh, player in the game. He could do this all day. I got a All question. Day we can do this. I got a question for you. <laughs> for real. Did Paul Gasol play go up, yeah. stay the same, or go down when he got to LA? I'm glad you mentioned that part because it did increase. You know what else increased? Kobe Bryant's dead. Don't Ooh. make it sound like Kobe Bryant was just the same player he was when he got with Paul Gasol. In fact, is it my? Is it not my? Is it not my numbers. I'm not. I'm not doing. Doing. Is it don't not my mistake? Numbers, is it not my? Is it? Am I, am, I, am I mistaken that Kobe Bryant didn't win the league MVP until he got Pal Gasol? Is that not a fact? Oh, or, 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 or is that the not? You really, hey, you really don't want to go down that road. We already got it. No, no, no. I'm sitting in the What do you mean go down that road? I'm sitting right here in the car already. Hey, chill. I'll check your temperature. Do you think? That, that is shit. the only year Kobe Bryant deserved to be MVP. Tell me which years he deserved to be MVP. Answer my question, sir. <laughs> yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yo, yes. yo, hey. Oh, oh my God. All right, everybody, know what Colo- everybody know what Colorado did to Kobe's reputation. Okay. Everybody know. The, everybody the, know. The poll, everybody know. The poll's over. So now there's no chance of influencing the, the viewers because it's over. Joel, I want to start with you. Excuse me. Do you have winners for each round, or do you have a total winner right now? I go my winners for each round. So I think round one was OG, and the reason why I lean OG is because I, I do think having Kobe at eleven is more proper than having Kobe second all time. Round two, I'm gonna give it to Elder. I think that the Lakers' O one team is better, and I think if they matched up against the Bulls, they probably do beat them. In round three. Although it turned into a Kobe debate in the end, <laughs> um, I, I do lean towards Elder and Michael Jordan. I know that he had his uh, in the playoff and playoff run during like in, on the road to the finals. He did have his his whiffs, but LeBron choked in the in the finals twice and, and versus San Antonio and then Dallas. MJ does not have that, so that's why I lean Elder for for uh, round one and I mean for round two and three. Riv, um, round one, I had to lean OG. Because uh, Ruckus said some things that just did they, they, that wasn't right. He said uh, the one comment hey, that hey, threw me brother, off. My brother is 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 Rufus, not Ruckus. Oh, my fault, my fault. Uh, the right. Rufus, pardon me. Uh, he he right. said we we seen Shaq before, but we never seen Kobe before, and we just saw MJ. So that's why I, automatically you lose that one with for me. Uh, round two, honestly, I like I like OG's argument a little bit better. But I think Ruthless won round three. So I'll give the edge 2-1 to OG. Sheesh. Uh, and I actually don't know who uh, officially won because I wasn't paying too much 
attention to the polls because I was locked in on this. You, you made round three. Yo, good, oh, good, good luck topping this, everyone else. We still have Legend of Winning, OG you the Beast. Folks, we still have Dell and Ron man. coming up right now. Kobe, man. And we got it's sad what you young folk do to Kobe, man. It's we sad. got Ticket in Mars. Uh, Yo, so I, I have the official review from the polls. Round one, Chilltown took it. Round two, Elder Rufus took it. Oh, snap. Oh, shit. Oh, snap. Oh, wow. <laughs> Round three. Should have been a sweep. 53% of the votes went to Michael Jordan and Elder Rufus. Damn. Elder, you narrowly edged him. I ain't happy. <laughs> I ain't happy. Yeah, yeah. y'all got y'all got too much disrespect for Kobe. Yeah. Uh, before <laughs> we much. get you guys out of here, Chilltown, any uh final words? Any words about the event? This is awesome. This is awesome, B. This this is absolutely awesome. Well, well yeah. incredible, this, man. This, this is awesome. Absolutely. The passion that you guys yeah. brought Chill, was salute, Chill Town. That was good. How do y'all beat that, that man? Good. Much respect. Elder, you know, no much respect. Elder, any final words? No, much respect. This this was good. Good energy. No um, a lot of facts. I really think this this young group of people, they just don't have – I see it all over. They don't have the respect for COVID that they should. They really need to tap more into COVID. And that's they why we got we you around, Elder Rufus. That's why you got you around to spit the truth. Hey, man, it is what it is. But, you know, <laughs> this was good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Appreciate Salute. you guys doing this, yep. man. Joel, Joel Rev, thank you guys for guest hey, hosting. Appreciate y'all, young brothers. Appreciate y'all. Uh, Yo, you hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Up on further conclusion, oh, chill one round two. Oh, <laughs> he's flexing on him. Hey, okay. After reevaluating everything, chill town. This is looking like this 2016 all over again. Right? Hey, I don't somebody know. said that's... at the beginning I was getting set up. Now I really believe I got set up. <laughs> yeah, that's. I crazy. really believe I got set up. This, this was uh, this was this was definitely a 12 round. This was Marvin Hagler and 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 uh. This was and Tommy Hearns. That's what this was. You guys, no doubt about it. This, 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 we're gonna come back with. We, this was we got Marvin Hagler. Votes and we got mail in votes. This was Marvin Hagler and, 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 and Tommy Hearns. We had the calculations for round three before we had the calculations for round two. <laughs> That's I crazy. It. I love Yo, it. Yo, the energy was great. Yeah. Jo Joel, uh, thoughts on the event? That is retarded. It was awesome. Yeah. I, I round one and round three went crazy. The energy. I, I feel like we just have to have a bunch of rounds where we just talk about Kobe and his career because right. I feel like that would absolutely go crazy. But this was an amazing event. I'm glad I got to be a part of it. Absolutely. Yes, no sir. River, fight of words. Yo, this is this is exactly what we do. So I, the energy is there. I love it. It's you real, Kelly. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Though. I love it. This was a fun event, though. I like this for sure. Appreciate like appreciate y'all pulling hey, up, you man. Be flexing, bro. You ain't got nothing to flex about. Undefeated. <laughs> you hey. ain't got nothing to flex about. Bro. And still, <laughs> heavyweight <laughs> champion <laughs> of the world. Yo. Make sure it's real. I'm sure. Heavyweight champion <laughs> of the <laughs> world. All right, we can, we gotta we gotta move. All right, right, right y'all. Um, make sure y'all tap into Pick a Side podcast. They're on every social media platform. YouTube. You go, guys, go listen to their audio platform. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. You guys know the deal. I'm sure most of these guys are already in here. They're already tapped in. But uh, we're going to get Pick a Side XPC soon. We're going to get these guys back on the act the uh, Player's Choice show. So you guys will see more of their faces, I hope. So long as they accept. <laughs> the invite is open. <laughs> but we appreciate y'all, man. You guys enjoy your Black Friday. And we'll catch y'all soon. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. All right, let's get these bozos in here.